Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present you uh, my lecture, Indirect Effects of CMV Infection. When we look at the mortality in patients with end-stage renal disease, it is much higher than in general population. And the uh, mortality risk of really young uh, patients with uh, end-stage uh, kidney failure uh, equals, uh, equals the risk of elderly person from general population. Why is this so? We all know that uh, we are nephrologists and we know that uh, uh, with decrease of verbal filtration rate, uh, we have an increase of the risk of cardiovascular uh, mortality. Uh, and uh, if you look at the GFR, which is uh, less than uh, 60, compared to patients uh, who have a GFR more than 60 milliliters per minute uh, per uh, body surface, uh, the risk and incidence rate of major cardiovascular events is much higher, as well as the risk of cardiovascular death, but also of all cause mortality in those with um, worse uh, glomerular filtration rate. Uh, progression of cardiovascular disease and death uh, depends on one side uh, on uh, heart, on blood vessels, and kidney function. They are all interrelated and they perform uh, a vicious circle, uh, and it is very hard to stop any component of this vicious uh, circle. And uh, the risk of, for cardiovascular disease in chronic kidney uh, disease. Uh, is uh, well known, and besides the traditional risk factors, there are many normal and uremia related risk factors, and most of them uh, can be attributed to vascular changes and vascular aging. So, what is early vascular aging. The components of early vascular aging are increased arterial stiffness and uh, pulse wave velocity, impaired and the filial function and uh, vasodilatation, chronic inflammation, uh, intimal medial thickness and early osis, disturbances of blood flow, uh, capillary rarefaction and dysfunctional, uh, dysfunctional regulation. We have uh, in early vascular aging shortening of telomere length impaired glucose and lipid metabolism, but also other components as insulin resistance, oxidative stress, calcifications, and increased deposition of matrix substances. With aging, of course, that we have vascular dysfunction, but in uh, kidney patients, uh, we have early vascular dysfunction, leading to early aging and finally premature cardiovascular disease and death. This is one side of the problem that I am going to discuss. The other side is uh, immunity. If you look at the aging and immunity, aging is characterized by low-grade chronic inflammatory state. It is called inflam aging, and it's a significant risk factor for morbidity and mortality of elderly individuals. It is well known to be implicated in the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, but also Alzheimer's disease and coronary heart disease. And uh, um, circulatory inflammatory mediators are markers of inflammation. Uh, for example, uh, one study showed in Italy that elevated serum levels of interleukin uh, 6 and C reactive protein uh, predict three year mortality in the elderly. Based on this introduction, uh, we can present the conceptual model for the role of uh, autonomous mechanisms in vascular aging. So first, we have circulating factors that may, uh, may be uh, antigeronic or progeronic. Uh, antigeronic are IGF-1 exosomes, mediators of caloric restriction, hormones, lipid mediators, and progeronic uh, reticular endothelial uh, system, uh, GDF-11, adipokines, inflammatory cytokines, and different metabolites. They transfer to molecular and cellular aging processes. So we see this uh, molecular circulatory factors uh, of oxidative stress, uh, protostasis, mitochondrial dysfunction, and so on. 
This can be translated to vascular aging. And functionally, we see this as vasomotor dysfunction, alter secretory phenotype, transport function, structural remodeling, and barrier function. And finally, what we see pathophysiologically is atherosclerotic vascular disease, vascular cognitive impairment, hypertension, macular degeneration, aneurysms, and uh, intracerebral hemorrhage, and Alzheimer disease. What can be implicated in atherosclerosis besides the well-known factors? There are many infectious agents that are found to be potential triggers or co-factors for atherosclerosis. Helicobacter pylori induces chronic systemic inflammation how? By molecular mimicry. Pyloridodal pathogens can cause bacteriemia leading to direct plaque invasion. SARS-CoV-2 generates a cytokine storm and plaque thrombosis. It is very well evaluated currently. Human hypersimplex virus produces a pro-inflammatory state with lipid metabolism impairment. And so it is well known for other pathogens like streptococcus pneumonia, chlamydia pneumonia, and uh, mycoplasma pneumonia that may induce persistent pro-inflammatory state and platelet activation with subsequent plaque instability. The same is known for hepatitis C virus. So what about CMV? I'm finally coming to CMV as a potential uh, promoter of vascular uh, aging. CMV was frequently detected in both atherosclerotic plaques and in healthy arteries. Its persistence is related to development over time of atherosclerosis. Uh, CMV may infect fibroblasts, epithelial, endothelial, and stromal cells, smooth muscle cells, but also adipocytes. And the inflammatory response that is initiated by CMV uh, stimulated cells elicits the release of pro inflammatory cytokines that are secreted from cells of the immune system, and this generates the vicious circle leading to immune system remodeling. So it is supposed that CMV may induce the production of different pro-inflammatory mediators that in turn induce CMV reactivation. So the, the vicious circle is present. CMV is also implicated in diabetes. Look at the CMV seropositive individuals. They have higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. They have higher level of glycated hemoglobin. So suggesting a room for CMV infection in the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes in very elderly, but not in young individuals. So uh, scientists suppose that the direct bacterial effects of CMV on pancreatic cells become significant after a long period of CMV infection. And uh, some other uh, investigators suggest that the high prevalence of CMV may be a result and not the cause of uh, diabetes. Uh, CMV uh, has also been associated with new onset diabetes after kidney transplantation. So the mechanisms by which CMV may damage the pancreas may include CMV-induced cytopathic effect of beta cells and induction of apoptosis. Additionally, uh, it may have cytotoxic effects by infiltrating glucosides. Induction of pro-inflammatory cytokines caused by infection of beta cells surrounding pancreatic cells or also by infiltrating glucosides that lead to changes in beta cell function or even their apoptosis. And finally, CME may induce T-cell cross-reacting with a pancreatic beta cell autoantigens and this may lead to killing of the beta cells, their destruction. So the induction of pro-inflammatory cytokines together with infiltration of immune cells uh, is considered to be the main um, uh, pathway that provoke a strong and destructive immune response against the beta cells and leading to their destruction. Uh, additional problem uh, can be learned from uh, infection with uh, HIV. Uh, 
why is this uh, lesson so important? Because asymptomatic CV replication may trigger immune system activation and uh, may perpetuate an inflammatory environment. And this environment uh, works in favor of development of the atherosclerosis. And this uh, event was more pronounced and more evident in immunosuppressed individuals, especially in HIV infected individuals, which are well known for their deep immunosuppressive state. So a link between CV reactivation and increased intima media thickness uh, demonstrated by higher levels of uh, CV antibodies, but also of uh, CV specific T cells were found in uh, HIV infected uh, patients. However, it is possible that these two pathogens, so CMV and HIV, may act synergistically to promote the process of plaque formation. This is something what should be considered and maybe also the consequence of the so called two heat. Uh, damage of intima uh, and finally leading to uh, changes of the vessel wall. These are some old studies, 20-year-old uh, study, uh, but a very interesting uh, one, uh, which uh, tried to find out what are morphological changes in uh, rat, rat aortic allografts uh, infected by CMV. They found that CMV infection uh, caused uh, only prominent inflammatory episode with proliferation of inflammatory cells and uh, proliferation of of smooth muscle cells uh, and atherosclerotic changes of the intima in infected uh, aortic uh, graft. So CMV may have a concerted impact on the main pathways involved in the atherosclerosis. How? First, on chronic inflammation, uh, CMV uh, may cause uh, endothelial cell uh, dysfunction, uh, vascular smooth muscle cell migration, and it may activate immune cells. So it clearly acts on the first process of atherosclerosis uh, on, on chronic inflammation. In the next step of plaque development, CMV induces a lipid accumulation within uh, endothelial cells and vascular smooth muscle, muscle cells, leading to neuroangiogenesis and fibrous cap. This can also, uh, CMV can also uh, influence plaque rupture by upregulating thrombin receptors uh, expression on the surface of uh, infected uh, endothelial cells, leading to a procoagulant response. So it may uh, be involved in all steps uh, which are present in atherosclerosis. There are some clinical data which connects CME and cardiovascular diseases. So there the, was found uh, an association between higher levels of CME, IgG, and ischemic heart disease with hazard range uh, of 1.4 compared to seronegativity. Uh, also, some authors have reported significant association between CME infection and uh, both uh, cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular-related mortality in the US population. Uh, but the other authors show this association predominantly in Latino population uh, uh, living in the US and not in other uh, uh, other uh, nations from US, and uh, they suppose that these associations were partly mediated by interleukin-6. This is one case of 70-year-old female that was treated with amoxicillin clavulin acid and clavitromycin for fever and cough. And she presented with persistent fever and libido reticularis on the, her extremities and also cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis uh, of uh, her toe. And uh, when they performed uh, biopsy, they found the crosis in the uh, epidermis and dermis and necrotizing vasculitis and occlusive uh, vasculopathy of the small vessels. And they also demonstrated CMV uh, in these uh, lesions. So CMV may be involved in development of uh, some cases of cutaneous vasculitis. Uh, in the 
the allograft vasculopathy after heart transplantation, CV has clear role uh, in development of changes on uh, of blood vessel uh, ball, uh, and this is uh, clearly associated uh, with development uh, of uh, the injury to the graft, uh, and it is included uh, in both immune factors that are associated with uh, cardiac allograft vasculopathy. In the meta analysis of 55 studies, individuals with uh, positive CV RGM antibody or positive PCR had 67% uh, uh, higher chance of developing uh, coronary art, uh, disease. And also in 105 patients, for other than uh, coronary artery bypass grafting, uh, surgical inter intervention, 26% have positive uh, CVPCR in the coronary artery blocks. This is one uh, in uh, one study, experimental study, uh, but a very nice study, which uh, compared uh, mock infected and uh, high cholesterol fed uh, diet uh, um, mouse. Uh, you can see here the vessel wall analysis. And this is one uh, uh, sample of CMB positive uh, animal that was fed by high cholesterol diet. Look at this plaque. And uh, this is mock infected and uh, regular diet with a normal uh, blood uh, vessel wall. And finally, uh, uh, animal with uh, CMV infection fed with regular diet. And in this infection, uh, and in this uh, group, we can see intimal thickening uh, despite the regular diet. So just effect of, uh, C of CMV alone. Uh, CMV increases already in, uh, expression and the uh, 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 this uh, expression co occurred only uh, in uh, cells infected with a CMV. And uh, CMV antigens were co localized with the renin in infected cells uh, that were detected by antibodies that are specific to uh, mouse, CMV, and uh, renin. And uh, serum uh, angiotensin 2 uh, was. Uh, elevated in uh, mouse cera uh, and uh, also in uh, a tissue uh, from uh, animals infected by CMV. So in conclusion, I would say that uh, kidney transplant recipients die from cardiovascular diseases. This is one completely novel part, trying to, uh, and I'm trying to um, alarm and alert you that CMV may uh, not be important just as an infective pathogen, but it may be also important as cardiovascular risk factor for our uh, patients. And uh, beware of the indirect effects of of CMV infection because they may uh, include vascular uh, remodeling. So any effort uh, should be invested to prevent and appropriately treat CMV infection in kidney transplant recipients. Thank you very much and I wish you a very, very successful meeting. Goodbye from Zagreb.